thank you so much for joining me for day four of my 12 day series yoga and breathing for well-being if you want to join us for day five check the description below for the link and if you'd like more wonderful yoga flows to flow to visit the yoga plus app also in the link below Today, we have a breathing technique called square breathing or box breathing. The idea is to balance out and harmonize all that good stuff inside, your emotions, your nervous system, your thoughts. So the idea is that you inhale, hold, exhale, and hold all for the same length of time. Now I'm going to guide you through a five second inhale hold exhale and hold but after a few rounds of that if it doesn't work for you if five seconds isn't enough to fill your lungs lengthen it um, if five seconds is too much for at first go ahead and make it three or four seconds I suggest getting something to sit on to uh, raise your seat off the floor. It just makes it more comfortable to sit for an extended period of time. Um, you, if you don't have a yoga block, that's okay. Fold up a towel or a blanket or get one of your cushions from your couch or your armchair. Totally customizable. So let's get right into it. I will guide you through the first few rounds and then we'll do another few rounds together but without my guidance. So go ahead and take a nice clearing breath in and out. And then inhale for a count of one, two, three, four, five. Hold, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Hold, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Hold, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, Five, hold, two, three, four, five, inhale, two, three, four, five, hold, two, three, four, five, exhale, two, three, four, five, hold, two, three, four, five. Now, feel free to customize this with the length of duration uh, of those inhales, holds, and exhales. <laughs> but let's go ahead and do it for a few more rounds together.
Excellent. This is a wonderful breathing technique because it brings you back to the present moment and you can do it anywhere <laughs> and no one will ever know you're doing anything. So this is great uh, for when you're feeling um, maybe a little on edge, agitated, anxious, nervous, excited even, a little too excited. You need to calm yourself down. I hope you use it in the future to aid you. <laughs> so let's go right into our yoga flow now. You can go ahead and take what you were sitting on off to the side. We will not need it. It's a very gentle and easy flow today. Let's start an extended child pose. So to get there, we could start by uh, going into table and then bringing your knees wider than your hips. Some say as wide as the mat, but everybody's body is different and toes together and send your seat towards your heels. And again, if your seat does not touch your heels, do not worry. It doesn't mean you're doing the pose wrong at all. Allow your chest to melt down towards the floor. Perhaps your forehead touches the ground. And you can even rock your forehead back and forth for a little uh, massage. If you want this to be a little bit more of an active pose, feeling it in the shoulders and upper body, you can press your palms into the floor a little bit. But just sit here, focus on your breathing. Notice where you're feeling this in your body. Make any adjustments that are needed. One more breath here. And then on your next inhale, return yourself to tabletop position. Wrists under shoulders, knees under hips, and feet in line with the knees. Go ahead and just check in. Press into your fingertips, now just where your wrists meet the floor. Rock back and forth, just notice. And from here, we're going to do some hip circles uh, with the legs. <laughs> so taking your knee, and as if you're drawing a big circle with your knee, take your left knee out to the left, back and up, and then back down to the mat. And let's do that five times. So that was one, two, last one here. And then we're going to reverse the direction. So now from table, we're going to take our knee up and back, kind of like a donkey kick if you're into uh, working out, <laughs> and then out to the side and back down towards table. That was one, and we're going to do five of those in this direction as well. Core engaged, press the ground away from you, or press, yeah, <laughs> that was right. <laughs> All right, we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So right knee out to the right, up and back and down. Here's the second. We're going to do five in each direction. Really warming up those hips. And switching directions now. Last one. Beautiful. All right, so <laughs> this next pose is a little hard for me to put into words, so bear with me here. We're going to take the right foot towards the back wall, kind of like our spinal balance that we did the other day, and then we'll take our right knee in towards the chest, hold for a second, and bring the foot in between the hands. All right, we're halfway there. Take the top of the left foot. Pivot it over to the right side of your mat, beautiful, and then bring both hands on the inside of that right foot, plant your right hand alongside your right foot, and take your left hand up into the air. <sighs> Wonderful. Go ahead and push your right shoulder into your knee and your knee into your shoulder, a little opposition there. 
I love this one for <laughs> the inside of the thigh. It's so good. Let's do two more breaths here. Perfect. Go ahead and bring your right hand down, or your left hand down, <laughs> right hand on the other side of the right foot. We're just coming back into that low lunge position here and take our left leg back in our right leg. Oh my goodness, right and left are just not my thing today. All right, and then other side. Left foot back, hold for a moment. Bring that left knee in, hold for a moment. And then bring that left foot in between the hands. Beautiful, same thing as the other side. We're gonna take that right foot over to, our, what? <laughs> to the left side of the mat. Both hands on the inside of the left foot. Plant the left hand down. Reach the right hand up into the air. Feel free to gaze wherever is comfortable for you. So down, forward, up towards your right hand. Wonderful. Reach those fingers up. Press into the heel of the front foot. <sighs> left shoulder into your left leg left leg into your left shoulder breathe one more breath here wonderful right hand down bring your left hand back to frame the foot and bring your left foot back wonderful from here we're gonna take that right foot back into that low lunge position right foot back right knee in hold 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 push the ground away with your hands plant the right hand in <laughs> plant the right foot in between the hands wonderful press into the top of the back foot press into the heel of the front foot take your arms and your fingers off the ground and then out and up low lunge we're going to do a short stance low lunge rather than coming so deep into this pose. Let's just make sure we've got our foundation. So our hips are at the same level, ideally. Our back foot is in line with our back knee here, and our right knee is over our right ankle. Arms reaching up, shoulders reaching down. Hold here. Once you have this down, I'm sure you're already feeling it in your left hip flexor. Feel free to go forward a tiny bit. Deep breaths. Wonderful. From here, curl the back toes under, press into the heel of the front uh, foot, <laughs> and then use your core and your strength to lift that left knee off the ground, high lunge. Hold here for a moment. If this is a little too much for you, go ahead and put a bend into that back knee. Some days I can straighten that left leg, and some days I gotta put a bend. We're gonna transition from this pose to warrior two. So take the back foot, bring it parallel to the back edge of the mat, woo! <laughs> and bring your arms to reach in opposite directions. Take your gaze over your right hand, flip your right palm up towards the ceiling, and feel that warrior energy. <laughs> Breathe into where you feel this. Press into the outside edge of that back foot. Don't lock this knee, okay? <laughs> Keep a tiny, tiny bend. A bend so tiny, you might not even notice it. One more breath. We're gonna transition from this pose into a wide-legged fold. So go ahead and straighten that right leg. Bring the right foot parallel to the front edge of the mat. Look at that. And then your heels can be a little wider than your pinky toe, so there's a tiny internal spiral of the upper thigh, the upper thighs, <laughs> the thighs. <laughs> Arms out to each side, core engaged. Come halfway down here and hold. Beautiful. And then bring your fingertips to the mat. <sighs> Depending on where you are in your flexibility, perhaps you can walk your hands back to be in line with your feet, or even further than that. Press into the outside edges of your feet here. Engage those quads so the kneecaps lift. 
Plant your right hand directly beneath your nose. Lift your left hand up towards the sky. Shoulders stacked on top of one another. And breathe. No down dogs, no vinyasas. Not today at least. <laughs> And let's switch it out. Let's bring the left hand right below the nose and the right hand up towards the ceiling. Still pressing into the outside edges of both feet. Breathe. Enjoy. Notice. Lower that right hand down. And this is where it gets fun. Just kidding. It's been fun the whole time. Go ahead and take your left foot and turn it out right okay and then your right foot and turn it out so your heels are in your toes are out and we're going to transverse lunge to the back edge of the mat towards the left putting a bend in that left knee coming onto the heel of the right foot the knee is going in the same direction as the toes on the left side here we're not caving in we're strong 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 you don't have to come all the way down towards your heel with your seat just like in the extended child's pose feel free to come up onto your tippy toes here and place your hands wherever you need them to be you can place them right in front of you you can bring your hands to your heart Keeping that right foot flexed. And I love this next transition here. We are going to transition into a runner's lunge to the back edge of the mat. So walking your hands to frame your left foot as you spin open towards the back edge of your mat. Runner's lunge. Go ahead and plant your right hand. Lift your left twisted lunge here. Strong right leg, strong right glutes, shoulders stacked on top of one another. Two more breaths here. Stay strong. If you need to, feel free to lower that right leg. I'm sorry, knee. <laughs> Last breath. And then take that left hand, frame the foot, and take the right foot and step it up to meet the left. Come down into this little ball pose heel here. <laughs> Heels lifted on the tippy toes and walk your hands forward and fold over your knees. From here we're going to come into a forward fold. Walk your hands back, drop your heels, straighten your legs. Feel free to keep a bend in the knees if you need to. Rock back and forth, find your footing, find your balance. Perhaps sway side to side. And now let's do that whole thing on the other side. All right. And from here, go ahead and bring your hands back to frame your feet. Step your right foot all the way back lower that right knee and come up into your low lunge now to make this that short stance low lunge that we're looking for you might have to walk your left foot back depends the length of your legs of course i've got long legs so gotta walk that front foot back coming up to meet in that beautiful low lunge stretch pressing into the heel of the front foot the top of the back foot neutral hips neutral pelvis and if you'd like a little more from here feel free to go forward if your knee is upsetting you feel free to fold your mat in half or curl your back toes under two more breaths Exhale to frame your foot for just a moment. We're gonna transition into that high lunge a little differently this time, but if the last uh, time we did it <laughs> resonates more with you and your body, feel free to do that. From here, we're gonna lift the right knee off the floor. Press into the heel of the front foot. Strengthen that right leg and lift the fingertips off the floor. Come up into your high lunge. Again, feel free to put a bend in that back knee if you need to. Getting a little shaky. <laughs> Two 
taking the weight out of the toes of your left foot. Transitioning into warrior two, bring that back foot parallel to the back edge of the mat, arms out wide. Back arch is in line with front heel. Go ahead and take your gaze over your left hand. Flip that left palm up towards the ceiling and stretch your arms out in opposite directions. Two more breaths in our warrior. From here, we're gonna transition into wide-legged. So go ahead and straighten your left leg. Bring your left foot parallel to the back edge of the mat. Bring your hands to your hips. Feel free to create that little internal spiral of the thighs with your heels a little wider than your pinky toes. That's also great to do while you're in down dog, but we're not doing that today. <laughs> Fold halfway, core strong, back flat. Fold all the way, hands down. Feel free to do that twist that we did last time, or you can this time walk your hands over towards your right foot. Pressing into the outside edges of the feet. And if you're doing uh, this version of wide-legged forward fold with me, you definitely feel that left side body stretching. Back to center, over to the other side. Two more breaths here. Back to center, we're gonna come into a transverse lunge to the right side of the mat. So bring your toes out, heels in, bend into your right knee, come up onto your right tippy toes if need be, and onto your left heel with your left foot flexed. All right, some arm variations, just like last time, hands right in front at the heart, or you could even place your right hand in front of and in line with your right toes and bring your left hand out. Definitely an intense stretch, but still very passive because we're not necessarily moving or um, using all the <laughs> muscles that you perhaps would use in like warrior two to keep yourself there. Runner's lunge to the front of your mat now. Walk your hands forward, spiral on to your tippy toes of your back foot and your whole foot of your front foot. <laughs> Hold here for just a moment. Plant your left hand alongside your right foot, right or hand into the air, twisted lunge. Feel free again to lower that left knee if need be. Press into your left hand. Lengthen your arms, shoulders away from the ears. Press into the heel of your front foot. Lots going on here. Strengthen your left quad, the um, muscle in the front of your thigh, and your left glute. And then bring your right hand down to frame your foot. Step your left foot up to meet the right. Come up onto the tippy toes. Lift the heels. Walk the hands out. Come into that lovely ball pose. From here, you can just transition onto your heels. Walk your hands back. Come into a nice, comfortable seated position. And whatever your body is asking for, whether it be to end this session laying down or just right here in this beautiful meditative position, listen and honor your body. It knows a lot. <laughs> Sit up tall, close your eyes for a moment. Notice how you feel. Thank you so, so much for joining me. Bring your hands to your heart. Bow to yourself as I bow to you. Namaste.
Welcome to Yoga Plus. Courses available from pupil to yogi. Sort by yoga, fitness, and instructors. Create your own routines. Access the Pose Library. Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. Available on Google Play and the App Store. Join us for 14 and 30 day programs, hour long classes, and much more on our yoga app, Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. It's free to download and features a variety of wellness content, including yoga, fitness, Pilates, guided meditations, and interviews with dozens of wellness experts.